Okay, I bought a few eyepieces, I think. And this is what is inside. So I'm going to open it and see what is inside anyway. I guess it's the eyepiece. Okay, I've now opened it. Oh, this is those ones that I bought from China. Oh, these are the ones. Let me just put them out. Oh, I know what these are. These are very good reviews I've seen in the one of the forums. I think Cloudy Night probably. And uh, this is aspheric eyepiece. I bought uh, two of each for my binary view. So let's open and see what is it. Okay. Let's see. Oh, especially they are, they are good because they are light. But they have a very good image. Image quality excellent. So this is the... Yes, these three eyepieces, each each three, I mean a pack of three of these, one, two, three, cost only 18 pounds. And I've heard that they're very good. The image quality they say is very surprisingly excellent. So, this is the... 23 meter, millimeter, 62 degrees. Uh, aspheric eyepiece. Um, and look at the quality of the image. The size of the lens. I can't believe I bought every one of these for six pounds. <laughs> Postage free. <laughs> and they have a very good eye relief. Let's open this one. This is the second eyepiece. So, three eyepieces, 18 pounds, and uh, a pair of each. There's two eighteen or something like that. I think around uh, thirty five pounds, thirty six pounds. Okay, this one is the sixty two degrees twenty three. Oh, that's another twenty three. That's great. So another twenty three. So I have a pair now here for binary viewer. They're very light. That means they can be used for binary viewer. Uh, one of the reasons is that in this aspheric they are using a, a technique of molding uh, clear plastic into this and uh, in one of the lenses it has around I think six lens surfaces or something like that and uh, one of the lenses which is inside of course never get a scratch or anything is made of uh, that given that aspheric shape you have to look for it and you will see what I mean and uh, that is uh, plastic, hard plastic of course, clear, and the rest of it is glass and multicolored. So let's go for the next next one. What is this one? Come on, you just the lens cap of it is four pound. <laughs> you want to buy lens cap? You have to pay that amount. <laughs> this is the ten millimeter eyepiece. Look at that quality. Look at eyelids. So rubber here, soft rubber, quality rubber, and the end part of it is this, looks like that. Let me turn on the uh, thing you can see inside, what is inside. It's ridiculous, that's a, such a price for such a good eyepiece. <laughs> Okay. Okay, this is a 10 millimeter one, aspheric 
very good quality i can say that is light but is metal this is metal it's not plastic this is metal aluminium this is metal this is rubber and the lenses are glass i told you that one inner surface of the lens and the eye side of this this side uh, inner surface not this outer surface is plastic that's for the aspheric shape of it aspheric is a special shape look in the wikipedia you will see what i mean uh, um, second row and i'm going to open this one also let's see what is it. okay another 10 millimeter goes here. and these two i think are the six millimeter ones so i made a mistake this is not six millimeter it's four millimeter okay see four millimeter really how many vacation it gives uh, some say it's not good some say it was all right with their telescope so it depends on the telescope you're using uh, and uh, yeah and we'll go for the next one oh, let me show you actually this six millimeter one the lens of it okay that's four millimeter the lens is quite big actually compared to that. but you see the eye relief is small and if i use the flash so you can see inside i heard people say that there is a little oh yeah that's the one that's a little uh, barlow kind of a lens at the end of it that you see that end here you can remove that and make a little bit difference into that it becomes something like a seven or eight millimeter by that that barlow has caused that image some people say a little bit distorted but anyway as you see uh, the size of the pupil is tiny Quite tiny pupil. And this is the second of the four millimeter ones. And it goes here. So I have six eyepieces. Just the eye caps of them will cost me a lot if I wanted to buy it. But this all I bought uh, from eBay from China. You can buy it from AliExpress also the same price. And all these boxes, everything with all these eyepieces, cost uh, yeah, 35 36 pounds. Each eyepiece, six pounds. So I have six here, two of each for binary view. Of course, you can use it for just single if you have just a uh, no binary view, just single eyepiece. This is the aspheric uh, SV Boni 10 millimeter eyepiece and this is a mid um, 9.7 millimeter a similar kind of and the clarity of this oh god that is amazing sharp is better than a <laughs> any plus all that i've seen and is is like a is as good as a ortho or probably even better i have a 10 millimeter ortho i will test it with that just let me see this is the butter uh, um, classic ortho 10 millimeter and this is the aspheric uh, sv boni 10 millimeter ortho i will compare them together again and just i will tell you how it turned on the test I tested this this aspheric is better than this this cost me 59 pound and that's one six pound <laughs> that's from germany overpriced and this is from china <laughs> that's better than anything else I tested the 23 against the uh, 23 millimeter of this uh, SV Boni aspheric one against the, uh, um, let me show you, that uh, 23 millimeter against the 26, 23 easily won, SV Boni is easily won. <laughs> See, I cannot believe the details and the craters and the uh, Mare Humorum, I can see those little craters. In all of the others were very clear, sharp. This one, sharp, <laughs> as if it's drawn by a sharp pen, pencil. That's amazing. Oh, I like that. I mean, uh, let me go for the four millimeter one. Okay, I've used now the four millimeter one. I must say that the image gets soft. You lose that crispness. So four millimeter is not as bad as some of the four millimeters that I have. You know, I have several other four millimeters. This is better than all of them, but the focus is not exactly on the uh, point you can never reach a good focus sharp uh, Why well, is acceptable for a four millimeter? That's acceptable, but it's not what I want uh, I will go with that 10 millimeter anytime that is <laughs> amazing 
amazing IP. I never had such a thing before. <laughs> Six pounds. <laughs> That's amazing. I believe the details I'm seeing with this IP is I never saw the details in the Mount Jura and north of the Imbrium, um, uh, Mare Imbrium. So, so much crisp and sharp. Everything is crisp. Ar Aristarchus is crisp. Pla Kepler is crisp. Everything I see is so clear. That's the number one IP. <laughs> Let me try if I can capture some of this. And we visually that is sharper and crisper there we see more detail but holding the camera by hand you can see some of the things which I could see also. The detail is probably here what you see is half of what I could see. It's nothing close even to what you can see visually but anyway I try just to show you a few Yes. And now we, I'm looking with the 23 millimeter one, of course, SV Boney 23 millimeter. The detail I can see visually is much more than what you can see here. 